Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family, and thank you for coming over to the channel. And you see what we're going to be talking about today. Yes. The queen died, child, and it seemed like the castle is going to Shitsville. Okay? And all the people that are in it. She died. She went from sugar to shit herself, in a sense, you know. She just doing anything she wanted to do and taking up for whoever she wanted to take up for. And I mean, she just should have told them. Family's family, okay? We're going to like her, even though we really don't like her. But I want y'all to be on y'all best behavior and treat her right while she's around us. I mean, they were talking about Meghan Markle, okay? Harris wife. But they were like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Okay, queen, whatever you say, we're going to do it while you're still living. But it's going to be a different situation when your head get cold. That's probably what Charles was saying. <laughs> but anyway, honey, the rift has just gotten a little bigger. Harry was mad as hell because they did not want his wife, which is Megan, to come to the dinner after the queen had passed away. Now, what kind of shit is that? If you don't believe me, I have audio. Let's go with the footage, okay? Hold on. Meghan Markle's brief stint in the UK is continuing to gain headlines. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were heavily involved in Britain's 10-day of mourning period for Queen Elizabeth II. Harry, who has always been known to have had a close bond with his late grandmother, put his differences with his family aside to be there for her funeral and the events surrounding it. But a new source has told The Sun that Prince Harry ditched a dinner with Charles and William on the day the Queen died. The Duke of Sussex reportedly insisted that his wife Meghan join the family for dinner at Balmoral, but the now King Charles III said it wasn't appropriate. According to the source, the back and forth over if Meghan would join the family prompted Harry to be late to arrive in Scotland. When Charles called Harry to tell him his grandmother's health had deteriorated, Harry flew to Scotland, but when he touched down, the King let him know that the Queen had died 15 minutes before. As Harry arrived at Balmoral an hour and a half later, according to the source, he was sulking and declined to have dinner at Charles's estate, Burke Hall, with the King, Camilla and his brother William. He instead dined with Prince Edward and his wife Sophie and Prince Andrew at Balmoral Castle. The source told The Sun, Harry was so busy trying to get Meghan to Balmoral and rowing with his family that he missed the flight. Charles has an open invitation for Harry to dine with him whenever he is in the country. But Harry was so furious that he refused to eat with his father and brother. It was speculated after the death of the Queen that one of the reasons why Meghan Markle wasn't with the immediate family at Balmoral is because she wasn't welcome. BBC royal correspondent Nicholas Witchell had said that she might not be terribly warmly welcomed to be perfectly candid about it. It had been reported by the Press Association the couple were said to travel to Balmoral together, but later clarified Harry would be going there alone. The now Princess of Wales also didn't travel to Balmoral so that she could stay in Windsor with her three children for their first day of school. Another expert believes the reason why Meghan Markle didn't travel to Balmoral is because her sister-in-law wasn't attending. Royal commentator Kingsley Schofield told Fox News Digital at the time it's likely due to the fact that the Duchess of Cambridge stayed behind. I do think it is more likely due to Meghan not wanting to interrupt something sacred and feeling especially out of place without Kate there. It all comes back to the fact that Harry and Meghan have had a strained relationship with the family ever since their royal exit out of the monarchy in 2020. The couple reunited publicly with William and Kate for the first time in a while when the Fab Four thanked supporters outside of Windsor Castle a few days after the Queen had died. It was reported that King Charles III forced William to extend an olive branch to the couple to show face in front of fans. Now you 
you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? They still fighting the queen. Them been dropped down in her boat. And not even 10 minutes after that, they start cutting up. King Charles. Charlie Charles is what we like to call him over here. He Mr. Charlie Charles. Okay, because he ain't acting like no prince. He ain't acting like no king. He ain't acting like a human being. How can you not let your son's wife come? I mean, she's married. She's in the family legally. You treating her like you treated your own wife, Diana. Do you remember that? Charles in charge. So we're going to start calling him Charles in, Charles in charge. And don't know what the hell he's doing. Okay. He need all his people around him. Uh, to tell him how to go it. How to do it. How to return it. He need everything. And William might always just take on over. Because his dad ain't going to be too long. Before he be really messing up stuff over there. Signing papers. He ain't got no business signing. They bringing him the little bread box. To sign important papers from Australia or Canada. And he getting mixed up. And all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Harry got a, I mean, Harry, William got a lot on his mind. And his first priority is not his brother, his younger brother. But, I mean, just like William wanted a life, Harry wanted a life too. He just didn't want it in Britain. Case point taken. All right. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. They still fighting over there. Well, fuss fighting. They ain't physically fighting, but I'm pretty sure they wish they can get in a ring and knock some heads down to take some of the frustration off. But... It's not good. It's not good to hold those type of grudges because uh, Charles and Charles is going to uh, lose any type of uh, contact and experience with his grandchildren. They ain't even going to know him. And then when he figured out that he done did, uh, you know, he done fucked up with the situation, it's going to be too late. You know, the kids are going to be bruised. Their egos is going to be high. And they ain't going to have no love for their uh, grandfather. Nope. Mm -mm, not at all. I mean, he can make like he like his oldest son, children, which is, uh, you know, you've seen them before. But Archie and Lilibel, they ain't going to be bothered with their grandpapa. Nope. They're going to say, you, did, you denied us. You denied us our rights for being, you know, a part of the royal family. Then you hated my mom. And there was no need for you to hate her. Oh, honey, I can't see. I can't wait to see them kids grow up. They gonna tear down that Britain if it ain't already torn down. With Kate's children succeeding their dot their daddy if something happened to William, cause I know if something happened to William, Harry ain't gonna wanna come over there. Harry is not gonna wanna come over there to do nothing. He'll probably let everything, everybody come and invade their country. <laughs> See, he like his mama. He ain't for the shits. He want to live a life that's normal, that's not around people serving you, asking you what you want on a daily basis, on every hour on top of the hour. You got your own drivers. You got your own chef. That, that damn feels uh, like Hollywood, don't it? <laughs> so I don't know why he don't like that. I guess he don't like, you know, the staff. I mean, we looking at about... 12 or 15 folks every day trying to uh, uh, anticipate your every need. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I, don't, I need you to get out of my face. I need you to go in that other room and stay there until uh, I tell you to go. Or better yet, go home. I pay you for the day. I don't need you. I don't need the staff. 12 or 15 people looking out for me. I can look out for my damn self. Now, if I'm drunk, I'm incapacitated, then yes, look out for me. Okay, till I get my senses back. But other than that, I don't need you. So, Harry is still feuding. He's still fuming at the thought that his own brother, fresh, you know, uh, pure blood, and daddy will not accept his children or his wife. He's just very upset about that. But y'all, what y'all think about that? Is Charlie Charles charge in charge? Is he taking it a little bit too far? Is he taking it a little bit too far, people? It seems that way to me. Because uh, anything, they should still be mad at him cheating on their mama. And probably having something to do with her demise. They still got issues with that. 
I wonder did they get counseling for that? Probably not, because when you're in that type of a family, you're not really supposed to show emotion. You're supposed to be working for the people of the country. You, you, just, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of a lonely life. And Megan tried to come in and just, you know, give it a little color, get it a little pizzazz. And Queen Elizabeth looking at her like, girl, if you don't get yourself back over to North America, if you don't get yourself back over to California, I ain't. Is that what they call them? Is that what Snoop Dogg is like? Tell them I said, hey. But she probably told both of them, y'all get y'all butt over there and live y'all life. Yes, we're going to take your titles. Yes, we're going to take y'all royal highness and all that kind of stuff. Yep, we're taking it because you wanted to disassociate yourself from us. We still got to do what we got to do because we were born, bred, and sealed the deal to be in this type of lifestyle. But you expressed, you know, for your sanity, you and your wife had to move out of UK. Y'all will come visit, you know, y'all will come back for, well, if I wouldn't come back for birthdays or anything of that nature. Only thing that may bring him back is another family member dying. But how he's treating uh, Harry, I wonder if he died, would Harry even come? Would he even come? Because, you know, he's going to be the people person anyway. Because everybody like Harry, you know what I'm saying? So if he decided with all the negativity that's going on, that the press is uh, putting out there about their family dynamics and how strained their relationships are, uh... He might just stay away. He's like, I don't want, I don't want that press, and everybody know he treated me like shit. He treated me like shit in the public, and he damn sure treated me like shit in the private, you know, uh, time. So, mm, it's, it's that's a hard pill to swallow, hard pill to swallow, because they were dis disrespecting Megan ever since they became engaged. You know what I'm saying? It's a hot mess. I don't know if it's because she's an outspoken person. She's her own boss. You know, she looks at herself as an alpha female. And she ain't going to put up with that shit. What they talking about over there in Britain, she ain't going to do it. But, you know, just like the Queen and Charles had some against his first wife, which is Diana. Um, they're going to do the same thing to Megan, I guess. They're just going to choose to not like her because, you know, because, just because, you know. No true, real reason to why. Uh, I don't know if they're jealous of her. I mean, Kate Middleton, you know, Williams' uh, wife may be mad, may be a little jealous because she uh, didn't speak up for herself. She just, you know, fitted the mold, the part that they wanted her to play, and she did just that. But, you know, I'm pr pretty sure she's feeling some kind of salty uh, this for Megan because Megan did not um, break down. She did not dissolve who she was to fit in with them. She's like, mm-mm, honey. Either we're going to get a divorce, whatever, or you should supposed to come be with me and we have a happy life. Because your family ain't right. <laughs> they ain't right in the head, honey. They are not right in the head. But if you love me, you'll just come on and, you know, and come on back to the States where we can build a life and, and, and you know, just let them have it. Just let them have it. That's what she should have told him. She might did tell uh, Harry that. We never know. We'll never know. But that's all I got for this particular video, guys. Y'all like it. Love it. Gotta have more. Remember, do this for me. Share my videos. Like my videos. And subscribe to the channel. Okay? Those three things. It's absolutely free. Okay? Just do it. Do it for your girl. And go on over to the other channels. Sign up. Become a uh, subscriber. All right? We fam. That's how we roll. But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.